Hi guys, this is Brian with MusicLessonsRiverside.com uh, doing another installment of Insanity. This is Insanity Part 3 and this will probably be my last series for extreme finger exercises. This one is a little bit crazy. It's more of a chordal concept and a sweet picking concept. And we're going to jump right into it, okay? So what I'm going to do... I'm going to play kind of a diagonal shape, then I'm going to come back and play another diagonal shape, all in the same string set. It's going to be the first, second, third, and fourth string. And to get started, you're going to put first finger on the first fret of the fourth string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, third finger on the third fret of the second string, and fourth finger on the 4th fret of the 1st string, okay? And then my next set is going to be 1st finger on the 1st fret of the 1st string, 2nd finger 2nd fret on the 2nd string, 3rd finger 3rd fret on the 3rd string, and then 4th finger 4th fret on the 4th string. Okay, it makes like a nice major 7 chord shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, and I'm going to kind of sweep pick down, 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 and I'm going to go back into the other grouping. Right, so can you see that? Now this one is a little bit tedious but if you didn't get that set up go ahead and rewind and get it so you guessed it I'm gonna take that exercise and I'm gonna go up the neck with it I'm gonna go go up a fret and do the same box down too. Okay. Once you get that going, up and down, go to the next string set. Doing the same thing, but I'm doing fifth string, fourth string, third string, and second string. Next set would be second string, third string, fourth string, and fifth string. So I'm taking the middle four strings, right? Okay, once you get that up and down. Go to the next string set, 6th string, 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string, and then invert that, 3rd string, 4th string, 5th string, 6th string. It's a little bit tougher on these strings. Depending on how easy your guitar is to play and how your action is set up. I just grabbed my Telecaster because uh, it's got really low action and it's only got 10s on it. So it makes it nice and convenient. But if you really want to get into insanity, you know, grab a steel string acoustic with some 13s on it and just go ahead and make your hand bleed. Uh, if that's what you want to do. Not me personally because I still need to make it through the day make it through my practice, and then make it through some lessons later. So, you do that. You can do it in a chord set, too. You can kind of strum them. Through the different string sets. Alright. 
So you can make an exercise out of it like that. Um, I hope this is helpful. This will probably be my last installment of insanity. Because you're probably tired of me saying the word insanity in that in that voice. Um, I'm kind of tired of it too now, I guess. But, do these exercises. Crawling up, crawling down. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, 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 three, two, three, two, three, two, three, right? Do those exercises, your string set sweeping, okay? Do those exercises, and I guarantee you will see results in your left hand. And your right hand, too, because you got to line everything up. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. You can go ahead and leave me a comment. Or you can reply to me directly at musiclessonsriverside at gmail.com. Thanks, guys.